Now let's do this another graph problem. The bar graph given below shows the percentage distribution of the total expenditures of a company under various expense heads during 2003. Yan yung introduction dito. So these are the questions. At ito naman yung bar graph natin. Now let's discuss how to answer these questions. Bago natin sagutan itong mga questions na ganito, ang tanong, paano? Kadalasan naman sa mga questions, mayroon yung pinatawag na given bago tayo makasagot sa tanong. Ang kagandahan dito kasi, yung given natin ay naka-arrange siya, mas klaro siya. Yan kung naintindihan natin yung pagka-arrange niya. So, intindihan natin. Una, mas maganda, basahin natin yung question. Mas ganyan yung style ko. Basahin ko muna yung question bago ko tingnan yung Graph. Or pwede rin, tingnan mo siyempre yung graph, tapos tsaka mo basahin yung question. And then pag mabasa mo na yung question, doon mo hanapin sa graph kung nasaan yon. Okay, let's do number one. What is the ratio of the total expenditure on infrastructure and transportation to the total expenditure on taxes and interest on loans? Ratio. Una sa ratio, total expenditure. Tama ba yung pag-pronounce ko? So, total expenditure. Ano ba itong mga expenditure na to? Ang nasa table natin, this is bar graph, uh, percentage distribution of total expenditure of a company. Okay. Total expenditure on infrastructure and transport. Ito yung dito natin. Is to. Okay. Infrastructure and transport. Infrastructure and transport. So, bali, i-add natin yan. 20 plus 12.5 and that is 32.5. So, dito is 32.5. I-blank na lang pala natin to para mas klaro. So, 32.5. Sa kabila naman, to the total expenditure, on taxes and interest. Saan yan? Taxes and interest. So, 10 plus 17.5 and that is 27.5. Ito na yung ratio. Ilist na lang natin yan. Pareho silang ma-divide ng 5. So, i-divide natin ng 5. 32.5, i-divide natin ng 5. That is 6.5. It's 2. And 27.5 divided by 5, and that is 5.5. I-multiply lang natin ang 2 ang dalawa para maging whole number sila. And this is 13, and this one is 11. Ito hindi naman list. So, ito na yung answer dito. 13 is to 11. Letter D. Uulitin ko para mas klaro lang. The bar graph, yan yung given. Ang tanong. What is the ratio sa total expenditure ng infrastructure at saka yung transport? Ito yung dalawa. Ito talang natin yan, 20 plus 12.5 and that is 32.5. Next, yung sa kabila naman, ni ratio siya sa total ng expenditure ng taxes and interest. Ito yung taxes at saka ito yung naman yung interest. I-add lang natin itong dalawa. 10 plus 17.5 and that is 27.5. Para maganda yung ratio natin, i-list natin siya. Since ang dalawa naman ay obvious na ma-divide ng 5, so i-divide natin ng 5. So ito na yung kinalabasan. 6.5 tapos yung isa naman ay 5.5. Since ang decimal niya ay 0.5, i-multiply natin ng 2 para mabuo ang Ratio natin. So, pag multiply natin ng 2, this is 13 and the other one is 11. So, ito na yung answer. 13 is to 11. Number 2. The expenditure on the interest on loans is by what percent more than expenditure on transport? Ito yung intindihin mo more than the expenditure on transport. Pero bago yan, tingnan natin kung ano tong mga pinagsasabi dito. Expenditure on the interest on loans. Saan ba yan? Ito, 17.5. By what percent more than the expenditure on transport? Asan na yung transport? Ito, 
12.5. Ito lang yung ikumpara natin. Ngayon, 17.5 minus 12.5. And that is 5. 5 is what percent of 12.5? Itong nasa baba. 5 equals what percent? Let n be our percent. Multiply ang of 12.5. Ang ginawa ko bali, uh, rephrase ko yung question. Kasi ang question dito is, the expenditure on the interest on loans is what percent more than the expenditure on transport? Kinuha ko muna yung difference nila. Pagkakuha ko ng difference, ito na yon. 5 is what percent of 12.5? Ang question na ito, yan yung makakasagot sa tanong dito sa number 2 natin. Now, ito na yung equation natin. So, i-divide natin both sides ng 12.5 para ma-isolate itong magiging 5 over 12.5 dito. 5 divided by 12.5, para klaro lang, isulat natin ang ganito. Ito yung point. So, isang zero dyan. Taas mo yung point niyan. So, 500. Sa 500, ilan ba ang 125? 4. So, ang answer is 0.4. I-multiply mo ng 100%. So, maging 40%. Ang sagot dito ay letter D. 40%. Ulitin ko para mas klaro. Ito yung question. The expenditure on the interest loans, ito yun. By what percent more than the expenditure on transport? Ito yung transport. Ito yung sa transport, ito naman yung interest. Mag-minus ka lang. Kung ano yung difference, which is 5 dito, yan yung i-kumpara natin dito sa 12.5. Kasi ang tanong is, by what percent more dito sa 12.5 mo. So, kung i-double check natin, ganito ang gagawin natin. 12.5 times 140% equals 12.5 times, that is 1.4. Bakit naging 140, ma? Hindi na lang siya 40%. Siyempre, kasi kung i-40% mo, ganun pa rin kasi mag-add ka man ng 12.5. So, kung i-multiply mo ito, 12.5 times 1.4, and that is 17.5. So, tama tayo. That is 17.5. Isa pa. Kung gusto nyo, diriso tayo sa 40% lang. Tapos, 12.5 times 40%. Times 0.4. And this is 5. It took 5. I-add mo dito sa 12.5. And the answer is 17.5. Therefore, itong 40% yan yung tamang sagot. Letter D.